Welcome to Ecom Ranks. In this video, I will guide you step by step tutorial on how you are able to design your Shopify website or simply redesign your website. Okay, so in this video, basically, I will do the redesign of already existing website. So, here is the website, and uh, you will also get to know that how you can avoid bad practice bad practices for your shopify store okay right now we see that uh, the colors are not good uh, this slider image is not showing properly and the text is not even visible this button is also not changing is any edge over effect or any other effect when i move my mouse over it so it should be interactive okay the menu colors are not good and i would suggest to use a fixed uh, header despite of the instead of the transparent header it's not a good practice to use transparent header okay so if we follow e-commerce standards we should use a fixed header with white backgrounds and then the menu with black uh, color okay so here we also see that the logo is missing there is no icon and this is the simple text uh, this is the browser uh, tab uh, favicon so it's also missing here just like the shopify tab it's uh, it's basically a bag for the shopify it's good okay so in this store uh, there is a small uh, bad icon bad icon we need to add a good favicon okay and when we scroll down the color scheme is too bad uh, it's mustard color and it's not good and uh, i don't believe who can buy from this store okay so it's a uh, quite bad store and needs a complete redesign okay so in this theme we see many faults just like uh, here the footer section is also not professional there should be two lines of the menu and this is the powered by shopify written uh, it's not good because uh, it will spoil the trust of your customers okay so this is your brand and it's not a shopify brand so you should represent your website okay not powered by shopify or anything related to it okay so the announcement header is also not attractive wholesale deals available and it doesn't attract me okay so i would suggest to do a complete redesign of this website if you have these mistakes or similar to other ones or need a complete redesign then watch my video till end you will get a lot of information related to your website okay please don't forget to hit the uh, subscribe button and hit the bell icon okay so here i have already added a theme okay so here is the theme called the beautify i will use this theme to customize or do the redesign process it's a free theme you can download it from their website simply write on google that you debutify free theme okay from uh, going to this thing and then uh, clicking on the login button you are able to download the debutify theme anyhow i will also add this theme file directly uh, to my drive and then link within the video description so that you can easily download it uh, by just one click okay so now click on the customize button first of all we need to design the logo uh, okay for the logo i would suggest to use uh, this vector website it's a free website to design your illustrations okay i mainly use this website for the logo design okay and to create the logo i need an icon so i use the flat icons.com and i simply write the kid dress and i download any icon for free okay 
after downloading the icon you need to open this website and then click on this button okay okay let me open this one okay it gets opened now you can okay from here you are able to decrease the size i will just decrease the size to this one and write it color full gloss or any brand like yours okay so you can simply change the name or the icon so your logo is ready then you need to click on the export button and from here you need to select the png format and then click on the download button okay i have already created a logo here uh, that's uh, a nice logo for my theme redesign okay so i am using this logo okay let's upload it to the theme okay so the debutify custom theme has been opened okay so here is the complete theme layout it's empty right now but when it will be get filled with uh, all those sections it will be get professional definitely okay so firstly let's upload the let's upload the logo okay so here you see the header section simply click on the header and then you will see an option for the logo okay let me upload uh, this logo okay i have added this logo okay we are not using the transparent header i already told you that the transparent header is similar to this one so it's asking that if you want to use this header then uh, upload that logo so we don't need to upload the logo here simply click the logo height according to your choice and this is the mobile header logo height when we click on this mobile icon uh, it will show the mobile view of our website okay so i will increase the size to, to maximum okay that's fine okay now the second thing i would like to do is that uh, i want to add the slider image here okay so you need to click on this icon add the best image that you have for your store okay then where it should navigate it should navigate to all collections okay okay or simply just add this text or according to your choice uh, i have added the welcome icon okay after adding it i have to add another slide and this image okay here it's asking for the heading okay i can write any text just like this one a kid's first choice okay write it here a kid's first choice okay that's great simply remove this test if you don't want to add it and then you can either add any collection or you can add all collections or simply you can click on products and add any product from your pro product lists okay so this is the simple way to link your uh, button okay so i clicked on all collections okay so when we click on this full screen it uh, it shows that the baby girl header is not showing so we need to fix it okay click on the desktop and then it's here asking for the image position okay so from here you need to 
select top center okay this way it moves the position of the baby girl down okay so it's fine it will be fine when it get loads okay so I have added the slider and it's asking for the slide changes after five seconds that's fine for me okay so now we have to write the featured content this is this on this section we have to write any content related to your brand I have already pre-filled it according to my choice you can add according to your choice okay we offer best prices to our customers okay so it's fine okay if you want to add the button here you can add it okay so right now I don't want to add this number add this button so I simply remove it okay so it's fine now one more thing I want to let you know that you are able to move the text position uh, from he here you need to click on the text alignment and then select the left position okay so now it's left aligned and uh, for this image you, you can also left align the text okay so now it's fine here now the next section is featured products okay so it's linked with here okay so you can add any collection here simply select on select collection and click on any item just I just select the girls outfit or the clothing sets or the baby's outfit okay so I let me select special events you can select any collection according to your choice or create an a new collection for your featured products I simply want to add the baby outfits okay so from here from this grid section you are able to adjust the products and from here I will I want to show three products okay so that's looking really cool it's asking for the view all button that if someone have uh, 15 products or even more when the customer clicks on view all button it will take them to the collection pane and all the collections will be and all the products will be listed there okay so I have added the view all button okay so now we need to fill this section it's the featured product you can add any product I will see this website so it's two piece baby receiving set I will simply add it here okay it's asking for some more details and I don't want to make any more adjustments just simply select show quantity picker and show dynamic checkout buttons okay this uh, by enabling this button your customers are able to move directly to the checkout and uh, that's a quick technique for purchasing and uh, if you want to show a description tick this option if you don't want to show this description untick this option okay so I want to show this the description I simply tick it and uh, for this option Facebook share tweet or pin it okay I don't want to uh, move my customers from my website to Facebook 
Twitter or Pinterest so I simply disable this option okay so now it's fine let me change this product it's not looking good Okay, so I have added this product and after scrolling down here is an option for collection list okay and basically the collection list is here okay so we have to add it to the new theme template simply click on collection list okay now I have to select the collection I will simply add all the collections over here okay one by one okay so now all the collections have been added all the collections have been added okay that's great okay so now this is the subscribe to our newsletter section from here you are able to uh, customize your uh, customize this subscribe to our new newsletter section your customers are able to put their email for the subscription so uh, it's fine and no don't need any change okay so in this guarantee section over here you have to add some trust elements just like this one SSL secure website or some more offers like uh, worldwide shipping or estimated delivery time between seven to four days okay so according to my uh, choice I will just add worldwide shipping to fast fast shipping because I'm only operating uh, in US okay uh, so here I will uh, remove 14 days to seven days you can add any text according to your choice okay okay so now the only thing left is that this is the footer section okay now click on the footer about us there you are I don't need this about us section over here simply remove it I need a menu here okay one menu should be called as customer support and other menu should be called as quick links okay so that's fine but okay so the customer support and the quick links have same elements and like search about us contact us privacy policy and refund policy Sim, uh, similar to uh, this quick links uh, okay so we need to fix this problem for this you need to click on the customer support and then you need to click on the edit menu option basically I am going to separate the these uh, these six links into a uh, two categories simply remove it and then remove this one okay so now it's fine and for another quick link menu simply click on add menu okay I will add all of my policies uh, under this quick link option okay then hit the save button okay once it's uh, get save 
let me reload the page okay so here I see the quick links option simply tick it and uh, click on select button and move back and hit the save button okay so now it's look more attractive that uh, it has customer support links over here and the quick links policies page pages over here okay so uh, for the Facebook Pinterest and Instagram I will let you know on how to add these things here so now it's looking a really cool website okay so the only thing we need to do is that we have to set the colors okay so scroll down and then click on the theme settings there will be an option to update more settings for your theme okay so first of all i have to add some color changes okay i will select this color okay so i want to add this color and make it appear as a branded store okay and this is the announcement bar i want to make it according to my brand color okay so this are uh, is the dryer color okay you need to click on the mobile and it's asking for these colors okay this is the dryer menu and it's asking for the dryer menu color simply click on background and then hit this option this is asking for the ascent color okay so I simply select this one and for the text option I will select the white color okay so now it's looking fine okay for these buttons these are the buttons for the card dryer menu simply select any other color I selected the black color you can select according to your choice okay so switch back to the desktop view and it's asking for the footer color I want to keep the black background and want to change this button color to this one so that it match with my brand okay so here we are able to add the social media links okay let me move to this website and here when I click on open in link in new tab open link in new tab it takes me to the pages okay simply copy it and paste it over here okay for this I have to log in and then I can move it uh, and then I can copy the link so simply skip it you can add it and uh, you can add your links here okay so I leave this step and this in uh, favicon option okay so this icon I was talking about we need to fix it okay for here simply select on select and then click on upload button I will upload this dress okay okay I have added this icon so whenever the user is navigating to our website now this icon will, will be shown in the browser tab okay simply click on the back button and for the cart it's fine we don't need to change anything and one thing I want to change is that the header is sticky header it's scrolling down while I'm scrolling my web page okay I don't like this option because it uh, irritates the customer I simply disable it and then hit the save button okay so now the header is fixed it's not scrolling down while I scroll my web page and the home page design is final okay you see it here it's quite cool than its old website and more trustworthy okay so now we need to go in open uh, and uh, we need to 
make few adjustments just simply click on the product page from here you are able to uh, select the image display for the for other images okay i need a thumbnail it's good so i leave it as it is okay so here it's asking for some more details i will uh, simply untick this option because i already told that i don't want to uh, move my customers from facebook pin to facebook pinterest or twitter okay so i simply untick this option and hit the save button okay so let's review this website okay so our website redesign is ready it's a new website template that i have designed using the wftify theme you can do, do the same okay so it's quite nice then uh, the this spammy website okay so if you like my video please subscribe to my channel and don't forget to hit the bell icon okay if you have any question i am leaving my fiverr id below you can message me there i can help you for free Thanks for watching.